ready for the jury? Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. We actually do have a very okay. brief preliminary sure, matter sure, that's if fine. we could approach. Okay.
Let's go ahead and get the jury. Thank you. See, all right. Your next question, Mr. Rottenborn. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, um, Michelle. Can you please pull up uh, Exhibit One Seventy Five, please? Defendant's Exhibit. Mr. Depp, is this uh, an email exchange you had with Bruce Whitkin um, on June 6th, June 7th, 2013? Uh, June 7th, 2013. Okay. And um, if you scroll down to the bottom, that, 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 I'm not going to read it aloud, but that email address is your email address. Is that right? Uh, the, I don't. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Um, so this email is an email that you sent to, to Mr. Whitkin on um, June 6th, 2013 at 7.05 a.m., the one that starts with seriously be woozy. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. And Bruce Whitkin was a longtime friend of yours, right? Yes, sir. Quite a long time. Uh, you met in Florida many years ago, right? Yes. And then he, you, he lived in Los Angeles, and you all were, were very close friends until a few years ago, correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, Your Honor, permission to, to um, publish or per, move for admission of this and permission to publish uh, with the email addresses redacted. And if they want me to redact Mr. Witkin's responses, that's fine. Uh, we have no objection to that, Your Honor. I, and I don't think we need to have Mr. Witkin's response redacted. All right. So you just want to have um, just the identifiers redacted and that's all? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. If we could do that. Okay, now I know this is a few years before uh, Australia um, in 2015, which we, we stopped with right before lunch. Um, but I want to just, if you can scroll down, um, Michelle, please, to the paragraph that starts, brain is on full tilt. And maybe just blow up the first couple sentences there. Okay, yeah, perfect. Um, so in this email to Mr. Witkin in June of 2013, you write to him, brain is on full tilt. The circus never stops. Feel physically fucked constantly. I'm wired up so tight that I'm barely able to deal with people on any level that is remotely enjoyable. See that? Did I read that right? Yes, I see. Yeah. yeah. Now, Michelle, can you please pull up Exhibit 350, Defendant's Exhibit 350? This is a text exchange that you had um, with M Stephen Duders, your personal assistant, on March 6th, 2015. So we fast forwarded a couple years. Do you see that? Uh, is that 1628? Is that the third one down? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. 
And this is a text that you sent to Mr. Duders on March 6th, 2015. Sorry, just reading it. Yes. And it, by this point, you had been in Australia since about the week after your wedding, right? So for three weeks or so, is that about right? Seems right, yes. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, Amber didn't arrive until around this time, correct? Beginning of March? Yes, I, I, I recall that Amber arrived around the 6th, 7th. The 6th or 7th of March, right? Okay. So you'd been, been outside of her presence for the last three or four weeks prior to this, right? I believe so, yes. Okay. Um, can you, uh, Your Honor, I would move for admission of uh, Defendant's Exhibit 350 with identifiers redacted. Your Honor, we would ask that the top email to Mr. Um, Holmes and the last email from Mr. Duders be redacted. So just the two in the middle? Yes. Sure, and, and honestly, Your Honor, then if we're going to do that, we can just redact the, um, actually, we, we can redact the second one too, so and just do the, just do the third. Uh, Your Honor, we believe that's necessary for context. Okay, for context. Sorry, so we'll just get rid of the first okay. one and the last one and the that's identifiers. Right. So it should be the two middle texts. Thank you. If you could just. 350 in evidence as redacted. Okay, good. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Michelle, if you could blow up the email starting with honestly. So this is an email. Um, you've been in uh, pre-production and shooting in Pirates 5 for the last couple of weeks, correct? Uh, by March 6, 2015. What was the question, sorry? You, by, by March 6, 2015, you'd been in pre-production and shooting for Pirates 5 for a couple of weeks in Australia, right? I believe so, yes. Okay. So your email to him, to, to Mr. Duders, your personal assistant, reads, Honestly, I will not again be doing anything that involves the discussion of furthering my embarrassment of having hoard for all these fucking wasted pieces of shit, nothing, years on characters that I so ignorantly started to think of as my legacy. Every cunting fight, every fucking time, I held my ugliness and rage deeper down and get in check when there was still room in my head to do such a thing. Did I read that right? You did. And that's what you're writing uh, to Mr. Duders having been on the set of Pirates 5 for a couple of weeks, correct? That's correct. Okay. Uh, the screenplay that I received was um, not um, up to snuff, I felt. And so that was part of this, was my... Anger was that the screenplay was very uh, lazily written, and I had to do a lot of rewriting. <laughs> and um, with you in Australia, I think we covered this, was, was Debbie Lloyd. You testified to that before lunch, right? Debbie Lloyd was your sobriety nurse. Trying to, she was supposed to help, help you stay sober, correct? Uh, she was there to give me meds. And right. To, uh, the fact is... Stay on uh, the path. Uh, the, the fact is, Mr. Depp, you, you, had, you had been using a, a fair, fair amount of drugs uh, during those three or four week period before Ms. Hurd arrived in Australia, hadn't you? Mar marijuana was what I was using. And not, not just that, other drugs too, correct? Uh, no, not that I recall, no. Okay. Let's take a look at Exhibit 346, please. <clears throat> this is a text message exchange between you and Nathan Holmes on February 25th, 2015. Correct? That's correct. Mr. Holmes was another one of your personal assistants, wasn't he? 
Yes, he was. He and Stephen Duders were kind of the, the 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 two main personal assistants during this period of time, right? That's correct. And um, at the top of the page, the second one down, do you see where Mr. Holmes tells Objection. you? Objection, hearsay. He just testified that he was only using marijuana, and this is clearly impeachment to that, Your Honor. This is Mr. Holmes' words. Well, we're going to. We're going to go text by text, and I'm, b oh. before I ask for permission to publish uh, and for a motion for admission, we'll go through it. But it, I'll sustain as Mr. Holmes. So. Uh, okay, um, Mr. Depp, why don't you why don't you take a moment to read this text from the top down? Thank you, please. Okay, yes. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Depp, does, does this refresh your recollection that, in fact, you weren't doing just marijuana in late February 2015? In fact, you were doing cocaine that Nathan Holmes was supplying to you? In fact, there's nothing in there that says I've been doing cocaine. Does this refresh your recollection, Mr. Depp, that you were given cocaine by Nathan Holmes in late February 2015? Um, even if I were given cocaine by Nathan Holmes, there's no, there's nothing here that says I was doing the cocaine. And Nathan Holmes was upset, or he, he, you understood that Nathan Holmes thought that you might be upset with him for taking some of your cocaine. Isn't that right? I Objection, think that's Your Honor, hearsay and speculation. Excuse me. I said, what was his understanding? Yeah, I'll sustain his speculation. Next question. Okay. Um, and in fact, Mr. Depp, um, you, you also were going to see Marilyn Manson uh, in Australia around this time, correct? Correct. He was coming to play a, a show in Melbourne. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I would, I would move for admission of, of this document with the following um, text messages. We can redact whatever else they want, although I think, well, we'll the, the ones that, um, of the witness's own words that I'd like to show are 80039, 80041, 80086. Those are all words from Mr. Depp. I have a highlighted copy if you'd like me to approach. Yeah, we have no objection as long as everything else is redacted. Right, I just look at his highlighted copy and make sure that's. Sure, so I touched the screen horribly. No, that was me. you. It's okay. You're good. Sorry. <laughs> All set. Okay. So no objection to the redactions. Uh, to, to no objection to three forty six uh, those with redactions. With redactions. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Look at those redactions. Forty-six in evidence for the redactions. You can publish it. So you can see these texts were sent on February twenty-sixth and February twenty-seventh, twenty fifteen. And if you scroll over, Michelle, can you just blow up the, the text portion of it? You text uh, Mr. Holmes, your personal assistant. 
have you heard from Manson's Ryan? Now, Ryan was Marilyn Manson's personal assistant, or, or he worked for him. That's what you understood, correct? At the time, yes. Okay. And then you say, yes, and yes, and of course. Yes, please, and you will pay Ryan for it. Two exclamation points, two question marks. And then you write, disappear, we should have more happy pills. Three exclamation points, two question marks, can you, followed by three exclamation points. Did I read that correctly? You did. Okay. Can you take that down and please pull up um, exhibit 349? Instead of exclamation points. <clears throat> And Mr. Depp, this, this text exchange that I'm going to ask you about is from just two days later, um, after February 26th, um, on February 28th. It's the last two on the page. Um, February 28th, 2015, there's a text from you to Mr. Duders. I would object to the, uh, as hearsay, with respect to the text from Mr. Duders. That's fine. So, can you just, so, you so just the second to last one is, is all we would seek to admit. Okay, if we could do the redactions for just that. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor, and we'll happy to redact uh, Mr. Duder's response. Okay. Forty-nine in evidence with redactions. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. So, in this text message, Mr. Depp sent on February twenty-eighth, twenty fifteen, you, you you send uh, Mr. Duders an email, and if you'll remember, what we had just looked at was you reaching out to Mr. Holmes, asking if he had heard from Manson's assistant Ryan. And then saying yes and yes and yes, of course, please pay Ryan for it, and then asking for more happy pills. And in this text message, you say, yay, hello, Master D. I say, I do believe that Ryan, parentheses, Munson's, gave you a wee baggage for me. Where does it reside? X. Did I read that right? You continue to read them right, yes. And the, the, where it says Munson's, that's a typo and should have said Manson's, correct? Uh, it's a nickname. Okay. Um, you can take that down. Um, thank you. So we've gone from February 26th to February 28th. I'd now like to fast forward to March 2nd of that year, 2015. Can you please pull up Exhibit 353? Your Honor, I've, um, well, let, let's, let's do it this way. Um, Mr. Depp, these are text messages back and forth from you to your other personal assistant, Nathan Holmes, um, in March of 2015, correct? It appears to be, yes, yes. Um, your Honor, I, I know that the whole thing is going to draw an objection, but I, um, I would like to, to move to admit Mr. Depp's text, which I have here highlighted, and I think we can redact pretty quickly um, through this document. Um, and I'm happy to have them highlighted if you'd like to, me to approach Well, it. if you could just sure. show it to counsel, the highlighted portion. 
Is this a one-page document or? It's actually page? it's actually three. Three um, page. And document. we may not do all of them now, but I think it's okay. easier to just. We have no objection with just submitting Mr. Depp's okay, so messages. Okay, 353 within redactions? Yes, and I think okay. we can, um, if you'll just indulge us for a minute, I all think right, we can fine. get all of that done. Thank you. Okay. So 353 in evidence with redactions. Is, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, ass assuming that Ms. Myers agrees with, with our redactions here. Not sure. Can we just see the other two, the, where the redactions are? Okay. Okay. Um, Yes, all, all set. Right. Thank you. 353 in evidence with the redactions. Thank That's you, Your Honor. Jury. Can you please go to the first page of that document? <clears throat> okay. So, February 26th, February 28th, now, now we're up to March 2nd. And on March 2nd, few days before Ms. Hurd arrives in Australia, you, te you text Nathan Holmes, and this is going to take a little bit just to kind of get through this, so uh, appreciate the court and the jury's patience here. Um, but you text him on number 73, and you say, no, you're not. Why? That is not a part of the job description, and I'm telling you now, any one of any of you guys start to lecture me, I just do not want to hear it. No stupid bullshit about sappy bollocks. I am a grown fucking man and I will not be judged. Did I read that right? You did. Keep going, please. And I will never, ever live in this world cage any longer. I'll do whatever I damn well please. Okay. Did I read that right? You did. Then if we go on to the next page, please. We continue and say, I don't want to depend on others for things like that. I'm not unhappy. I am insane. Big difference. Did I read that right? You did. No system. Then you say, I don't want to risk it for you or anyone. So I can get what I need. Also, may I be ecstatic again? Helps. Color me deceased. By ecstatic, you're referring to taking ecstasy, correct? It's very likely 
Before Ms. Hurd um, arrived, she had asked me to uh, uh, score uh, either MDMA or ecstasy tablets before her arrival. Okay. So once again, Ms. Hurd's at fault for these texts. Um, I, I'm not blaming her for the text. I'm just stating the, the facts. Okay. Well, let's 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 talk about those facts. So, okay. Ms. Hurd arrives in March in 2015. You can go ahead and. Actually, you know what, let's, let's go down uh, one, Michelle, because we're going to fast forward a few days and, and we're going we're gonna to come back to this. Actually, just one day. This is when you text uh, Mr. I don't even remember if it was Holmes or Duders at this point, um, Mr. Holmes, correct? And you text him and you say, this yeah, is Mr. Holmes. This is Yeah, so yes. we, we fast forwarded another um, couple of days, I guess, five days, and you say, Need more whitey stuff ASAP, brother man, and the e-business, please. I'm in bad, bad shape. Say nothing to nobody. Did I read that right? You did, sir. Okay. Um, and I wanted to take a look at that, Mr. Depp, because... You just testified that Ms. Hurd uh, was the one who wanted ecstasy. But in fact, when you sent this text on March 7th, 2015, this was right after you cut your finger off. No. And right after you told the doctor that you cut your finger off, you were asking for cocaine and ecstasy. That's entirely possible, correct? I'm not sure that you have a date correct about when my finger was chopped off. Okay. Okay, let's let's um let's take a look. I'm pretty we'll sure that the date was the eighth. Now, Mr. Depp, you remember testifying, um, well, it, let, let's, let's put it this way. Sometimes these texts, um, the, the dates of the text messages, uh, you would agree that um, they're obviously Australia is 12 hours different from this part of the world, correct? Or something like that. Uh, something, something like, like that. that, sure, I'll agree um, with you on that. So the text, the date stamps and time stamps that are reflected on these texts may be reflecting a different time than when they were actually sent. Objection foundation calls for speculation. Oh, You'd sustain. agree with that, right? No, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, okay. Well, then let, let's, let's do this. So is it your testimony that right after you cut your finger off, that you, or right after, I, I won't give you anything to argue with me yet, right after you sustained yes. an injury to your finger, Sorry. that you, Right after you sustained an injury to your finger, is it your testimony that you did not ask for cocaine and ecstasy right after you told the doctor about your finger injury? Is that your testimony? Um, <clears throat> regardless of what date you believe works within the world time zone, um, I don't believe that someone who has gone through uh, opiate dependency, who has lost the ability uh, to, to produce dopamine and serotonin in their own body, because um, that's what the opiate does. Your body no longer needs to make the dopamine or the serotonin. The dopamine and serotonin, as you know, I imagine, are um, things that keep us um, in, 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 it gives us, it gives us our I, moods. It gives I, us... I appreciate that, but my question wasn't that. My question was, I'm just trying right to after you, you told the me. doctor about your finger injury, you were asking for coke. It's, it's entirely possible that you were asking for cocaine and ecstasy. Objection. Yes or no? Speculation. No, 
I'll, I'll allow that question to answer it. Uh, clearly, uh, uh, need whitey, more whitey stuff um, is, is, is uh, yes, it's a reference to cocaine, but that doesn't, uh, there's nothing here that says that I ingested the drug. Not saying there is, but you were asking for more cocaine and you were asking for more ecstasy, correct? I wasn't asking for m more ecstasy. I was asking for ecstasy because that was what I was requested from, was requested by Ms. Hurd. Let's, let's take a look at the, the UK transcript date three. A permission to approach with that, right. Your Honor? Okay. Date three. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to ask you to turn to page 463 and 464 of this, please. Sure thing. 464. Are you there? I am there, I'm just okay. reading it, sorry. And on page 463, line 20, uh, you're asked a question, Mr. Depp, what I am asking you about, and I think your barrister, Mr. Sherborne, agrees, the times we have to factor in, it may be we can put in an agreed local Australian time, but what is important, do you see, is the order that your finger, you have cut your finger off, and straight away, after telling your doctor that you cut your finger off, you are asking for cocaine and ecstasy. Answer, yes, that is what it, question, that is what it looks like. Answer, appears to be, and it is entirely possible that I was in the state that I was in. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Asking for cocaine. So, we talked about the cocaine and the ecstasy. Let's talk about the, 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 the alter, argument, altercation, that you and Ms. Hurd had in Australia. Um, you, you, you testified that you were sitting on a bar stool, right, in, um, in Australia. This is before. Are you, you, so you're fast forwarding to the, the end of, the, uh, of that argument. Yeah, we've, we've, heard, we've heard your account of the argument, and the jury will hear Ms. Hurd's account of the argument. What I want to ask you is some specific questions about you, you're sitting on a bar stool. You've had three or four, I think you said three shots of vodka. I did two um, or three shots of okay. vodka, yes. Yeah. Uh, and you're resting with your hands kind of hanging over the edge like that, right? Uh, well, after the first bottle whizzed past my head and shattered, as I said, I walked around the bar, grabbed the larger, there was another bottle of vodka, the only one there. The larger bottle brought it back and poured another shot and did it. <clears throat> and right, and, and that, that was a, like a, what we call a handle of vodka, is that right? Well, it, yeah, it's one of the larger bottles with the, it's got a handle on it, right. yes. And it was, it was full at the time, other than the shot that you poured? No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a full, full bottle. No. Okay, um, and, and, and at some point before you, you claim you sustained an injury to your finger, you were, I believe you demonstrated to the jury yesterday, but you were resting with your three fingers, um, your middle three fingers kind of hanging over the edge. Is that, is that fair? Is that right? Uh, yes, I just had a okay. bottle thrown at me, so I was, when she grabbed the second bottle. Right, I'm just asking where your fingers were, sir, at that point. Your fingers were, your palm was facing down and your three middle fingers were hanging over the edge of the bar, correct? Basically, okay. that's correct. Um, and Miss Amber was seven to ten feet away, correct? Once she walked, yes, once she grabbed the bottle, yes. Okay. And your testimony, and we, we've, we've heard it yesterday, but your testimony is that somehow she wound up with this handle of vodka 
and, and threw it, and it, 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 it uh, damaged part of your middle finger. But what, what we didn't talk about, and what I want to ask you about, is it didn't, if it happened the way you said, it didn't, didn't damage any other part of your hand, correct? No other part of your fingers, no, none of the other middle fingers that were hanging over the edge of the bar were injured, correct? Objection compound. We can All take right. it piece by piece. None of, the, none of the three fingers that were hanging over the edge of the bar were sustained any injury other than your middle finger. Is correct? Um, the middle finger certainly took the brunt of it as okay. the tip. And, and there's cut, uh, cut off. There's no, there's no record of any glass being found in that middle finger. Correct? Objection calls for speculation. I'm, I'm, I, I'll allow it if you can answer. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor and I'm not sure what uh, was uh, found in the middle finger. What I do know is that when I went to the emergency room that they, <clears throat> they had to um, inject me with a block to be able to put it into a bucket and, and take a wire brush to, to scrub it um, all clean because I had all the makeup still left from pirates on there and makeup from pirates okay we'll get to that in a second but neither right. of none of the other fingers on your hand were sustained any injury that you're aware of correct uh no there were there were nothing else was severed no. okay and in fact it wasn't just makeup from pirates that was on your hand it was paint that you had dipped your middle finger into to write along with blood to write on mirrors and lamps and assorted furniture in the house, correct? Objection, compound. All right, I'll sustain it to compound. If you... it, there was, it wasn't just makeup. You testified yesterday that it was just makeup from the set of Pirates 5, but in fact, after you sustained an injury to your finger, you dipped it in paint in the house and you wrote in paint mixed with blood all over the place. Objection, compound. I'll sustain the objection. You dipped your finger in paint in the house and wrote on objects in the house. Objection correct? compound. I'll sustain the objection. You dipped your finger in paint after suffering an injury. Yes. And then you used that finger to write on objects in the house. Uh, yes that, or no? Yes, that was after I had, um, after writing on the walls, the uh, blood had kind of dried as it were and or, and so I uh, stuck my finger into a can of paint and also <clears throat> excuse me mineral spirits to um, to put my verbal messages onto the wall and you use your you use your finger as a paintbrush right essentially yes and can we put up um, Exhibit 369, please? Um, it might, you know, it, it might be plaintiffs. Let's. Um, now, Mr. Depp, we're going we're gonna to take a, a look at some pictures shortly, but y y you'd agree with me that there was quite a bit of damage to the house in Australia after this incident, correct? Um, there, was, there was quite a bit of damage to the house uh, during the, um, the entire incident, yes. And you don't remember the television breaking, do you? I remember there was a, I believe there was a coffee cup stuck into the screen or a plate or something like that. And you don't remember the window breaking, do you? I don't remember a window breaking. But you do remember that there was quite a lot of blood everywhere, including on floors and sofas. Well, I'd noticed, that's how I'd noticed uh, that I was uh, leaking um, there was heat in my finger and it was, I felt this warmth and this liquid and then 
I noticed that the tip of my finger was gone. And, and at that point, I think I went into some sort of shock or whatever is closest to a kind of nervous breakdown. Yeah, you testified that breakdown. It's You, you could have um, also defaced a painting by drawing a penis on it, didn't you? I've never... I, I don't know about that. I don't rem remember drawing it's, a penis on a painting. Given the state you were in, it's entirely possible that you did that, even if you don't remember it to this day, correct? Drawing a penis on a painting was not the first thing on my mind. Let's I look. had messages to uh, write, reminders that were from Miss Heard. But you don't deny that a, if a painting was defaced with a penis drawn on it, that that could have been you, even if you were blacked out and don't remember that, correct? Objection, speculation. I'll, uh, if you can. This was no blackout. I know you love the word. It was no blackout. It was shock. That, that wasn't my, my question, Mr. Depp, respectfully. It was, you don't deny that you could have defaced a painting in the manner that I just described. Well, given, given that I had written some messages on the bathroom mirror and then Ms. Heard um, uh, added to them, um, it's also not impossible that Ms. Heard may have drawn a penis on a painting somewhere. I, 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 that's not where I was going. Um, let's take a look at page 451 of your testimony in the UK trial, please. And if you look at page uh, 451, line 21, please, you were asked the question, let me ask you, is defacing a painting something that you are likely to have forgotten? Answer, I recall a painting on a lampshade, on a wall, on a mirror. I remember dunking my finger into paint thinner and using paint when I had run out of blood to paint with, and I could have defaced the painting, I suppose, but I do not remember a painting specifically. Question down below on 452, line 15. So, there are parts of this episode that you do not remember at all because that would be quite a big thing, would it not? Painting a penis on a picture? Answer, it would be quite a big thing. I do not recall. Question, it is not something you would do by accident, is it? Do you, not, you do not accidentally. Answer, no, I would say not. Question, you have no recollection? Answer, I am sorry, I'm not 100% sure that I can say I did that. Did I read that right? You did read it right, sir. Thank you. Let's take a look at um, Exhibit 374, please. Is it Defendant's Exhibit 374? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Depp, do you recognize this as one of the mirrors that you wrote on uh, with your injured finger in March of 2015? Uh, yes, I do. And yesterday you texted, texted, I'm sorry, thought we've seen a lot of texts today. It's all right, I did text Ye someone yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday you testified that you wrote on the mirror, and I, I don't, I don't remember exactly what you said, but you essentially said that you wrote uh, things about your past with Ms. Hurd or, or grievances that you had with her, correct? Reminders, yes. Okay. Um, Your Honor, permission to uh, move, I move this in as an exhibit and ask for permission to publish. Any objection? No objection, uh, Your Honor. 374 in evidence. Move and publish. just blow that up a little bit if it's possible. So on this, which you, you wrote on with your severed finger, you wrote in some, some mix of paint or blood, 
starring Billy Bob and Easy Amber. Yes, sir. Miss Heard arrived directly in Australia from filming the film London Fields in England <clears throat> with Billy Bob Thornton, correct? That's correct. And you hadn't seen your new bride in three or four weeks, and she arrives. You're not happy about her filming with Billy Bob Thornton, and so as part of this altercation incident, after your finger is injured, you write starring Billy Bob and Easy Amber on the mirror, correct? Objection compound. I'll sustain the objection. I'll move on. Okay. Let's pull up exhibit 375, please. This is, Mr. Deputy, you recognize this as uh, another mirror on which you wrote with your, in blood and paint uh, after your finger injury in March of 2015. Yes, sir, that's in the same uh, bathroom. Okay, uh, Your Honor, uh, move for admission of Exhibit 375 and request permission to publish. No objection, Your Honor. Right. 375 in evidence, publish. Can we please pull up uh, Exhibit 377, please? Mr. Depp, um, this is a picture of a lampshade that you wrote on uh, after you sustained a finger injury on March 8, 2015, correct? That's correct. Okay. Your Honor, move for admission of Exhibit 377. No objection. All right, 377 in evidence. You can publish. Permission to publish. And on this lampshade, um, which appears to be sitting on the ground, you write some mixture of blood or paint, good luck and be careful at top. Yes, correct. Correct? Yes. I thought it was good advice. Okay. Now, You have never, and I know Ms. Hurd will give her account of this, uh, of this incident later in the trial, um, just to be clear, you have never seen Amber inflict harm on herself or on her arms or anything like that, correct? Objection compound. Sustain. You've never seen Amber inflict harm on herself? That depends on your definition of harm, sir. I, I, I... That's quite a broad word. Can you please pull up your UK testimony at page uh, 434? Objection, Your Honor. May we approach? Yes. Mr. 
Mr. Depp, are you um, are you there on page 434, line 25? 434, okay. <clears throat> yes. And uh, in the UK trial, were you asked this question and did you give this answer? Question, you have never seen her inflict harm on herself, on her arms or anything like that during the time you were with her? Answer, no, no. Did I read that right? I don't see it on page 434. Uh, can you uh, you got to go to the top of page 435, so sorry if I wasn't clear. Let's go. Oh, 435, let's, okay. Yeah, so the bottom of page 34, question, you have never seen her inflict harm on herself, on her arms, or anything like that during the time you were with her, and then the answer at the top of page 435 is no, no. Did I read that correctly? You did. Thank you. Um, now... You testified yesterday that when you went to the hospital that you told them um, that you had uh, injured your finger in an accordion door. You remember giving that testimony? Yes, I do. Um, that's actually not true, is it? You, you, you actually told the hospital uh, that you had cut it off with a kitchen knife. Isn't that right? No, that's not true. Can you pull up Exhibit 360, please? I believe there was... Uh one of my team who might have said that to the doctor, but that was not my, um, those were not my words. At any rate, we were looking to keep Amber's name out of it. Mr. Depp, I'm not going to move this exhibit into evidence, but do you see the, the portion um, where, where it says, thanks for seeing and treating this patient? Do you see that? And then right after that, it said, he sustained an injury to his right middle finger tonight after accidentally cutting it with a kitchen knife. you see that? I do see that. And there's no mention of an accordion door in that document, is there? I'll, I'll read it if you like, but... Uh... That was the, I didn't sign my name to this. Um, and that's not my statement to them. I, I used the accordion door. You, you testified so yesterday that you excuse, told. Then I, I, I can't help that. You, you testified yesterday that you told Dr. Kipper uh, that Ms. Hurd had, in fact, been responsible for your finger injury. Do you remember giving that testimony? Yes. Uh, but in fact, in subsequent communications to Dr. Dr. Kipper, you reference more than once that you chopped off your own finger to Dr. Kipper, correct? I think the key word is chopped off my own finger. Um, when you say to someone, I've chopped my, I've chopped my finger off, um, that's just going straight to the fact. You don't get into, um, she did this, I did that, this, that. My, fing my finger's been chopped off. Okay. Let's take a look at Exhibit 398, please. I'd like to, to direct your attention, sir, to um, the text message number 94, which is a text message from you to Dr. David Kipper on March 19th, 2015. Do you see that? Um, I will in a second. Sure. 94. Uh, I think this is, uh, yes, March 19th, so I was in Los Angeles, yeah. Yes, I, I, I see the, I see the text. Your Honor, I would move for the admission of this exhibit with just that text uh, displayed and every identifier redacted. 
Uh, no objection, Your Honor. All right, if we could do that redaction, please. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, 398 in evidence as redacted. a little bit more thank you so in this text message from you to dr. Kipper on March 19 2015 you text him my most sincere apologies to you doc I understand your decision based on my immunity to do the right thing and I truly do thank you for your concern I must apologize for not having had the presence of mind to respect the man who has been the most kind and who has done more for me than anyone ever there was no call for my spineless and base behavior toward you. I honestly understand the reasons for your concerns in your letter and can say to you now, they no longer are an issue. Thank you for everything. I have chopped off my left middle finger as a reminder that I should never cut my finger off again. I love you, brother, Johnny. Did I read that right? You did. And Ms. Hurd was not on that text message, was she? No, she was not. No. Uh, can you take that down and put up uh, Exhibit 499, please? And I'd like to um, I'd like to direct direct your attention to item thirty nine. Um, second text down, which is a text message exchange between you and Aaron Borum, Dr. Kipper's nurse, on October thirty first, twenty fifteen. See that? Yes, I do. Um, Your Honor, I'd move for admission of this exhibit um, with just that text message. No objection. All right. If we could redact it. And the appropriate redactions. Thank you. Or I not evidence for the redaction. And in this text message from you to Dr. Kipper's nurse, Aaron Borum, in October of 2015, uh, you say, and I'll just try to read the relevant part, sent huge text to Kipper, no response. He's an odd duck, old Kipper. This is the second time that he's held off giving me meds by blackmailing me into seeing him. The first time, I had just chopped my finger off. Hmm. Oh, well, I want off of the majority of the stuff anyway. I guess that's a new way to stop. X. Did I read that right? You did, sir. And Amber is not on that text exchange, correct? No, nope, she's not. I'd like to, um, if we can pull up uh, Exhibit th 343, I believe it's Plaintiff's Exhibit 343, and th this is this is where you tell Amber in a recording that you, you mentioned the day I chopped my finger off. So let's listen to that. Are you, are you entering a 343 into evidence? Yeah, I think it's plaintiff's. It's 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 the same one that was played yesterday. I believe that was okay. plaintiff's 343. 
343 argument. And just for the record, which portions are you talking about? Sure. Okay. Which portion are you playing? Yourself? I'm playing um, 202.15 to 202.19. Is that right? I don't know if we'll be able to get it exactly right, so there's a second or two on either side, but we'll yeah, do our best. That's fine. Do we have the date of this recording? Mr. Uh, Rottenborn? What's the date of the recording? I don't know. It's a plaintiff's exhibit. I'm not. A, I don't know the date of the recording. Okay. Oh. I'm talking about Australia. The day that now I'm we're talking about Australia. Australia. Okay. Yes. You hear that? When you said the day I chopped my finger off. Let's let's play it again. Let's That'd do be again. great. Thank you. Hi, you're talking about. I don't know. I'm talking about Australia. The day that now I we're talking about Australia. Off. Okay. Are you sure that? Yeah, let's do it one more time. What I'm saying, or is it the day that I got my finger chopped off? No, no, you say the day that I chopped my finger off. So let's play it one more time because I think I left out the word that. It says the day that I chopped my finger off. Hi, you're talking about, I don't know. I'm talking about Australia, the day that now I chopped my finger off. Now we're talking about Australia. Okay. I'm not so sure. In fact, earlier you had quoted Jerry Judge from a, the airplane tape is calling me an asshole. Um, wait till the asshole falls asleep. And I'm positive that those words never left his mouth because he was, he would have, if I would have been making those noises in the bathroom, he would have ripped the hinges off. Maybe they left his mouth when you were passed out, sir, respectfully. Let's listen to this one more time. Was, uh, I don't I'll think I'll sustain it. Yeah, move to strike. I'll, I'll sustain as argumentative. I'll move to strike. All right. Next question. You know, I just wanted to play this video, this one more time. Please. Hi, you're talking about, I don't know. I'm talking about Australia. The day that now we're talking about Australia. Okay. Yeah. All right. We can move on. Let's bring up exhibit 380, please. 380? This is another recording, Your Honor. Um, I don't know whether it's been admitted into evidence yet. 380, plaintiff's 380 or defendant's 380? I, be I believe it's defendant's. I left my cheat sheet. Okay. Uh, Thought it was an easy question. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry. I, it's, okay, 380. I had it written down and All right. I don't have it in front of me. Both both 380. Plain, pl plaintiff's 380. Plaintiff's 380, okay. Yes. All right, I don't know if that's in evidence or not. Is plaintiff's 380 in evidence? No. So you're offering 380 before we hear it. Can we put it in evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Move move it into evidence. And the, the uh, portions that I'd like to play are um, 3333 through 3410. I assume no objections. This is the audio. As long as this is an audio recording of just Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd, we have no objection. This okay, portion it, is. This portion is. Yes. Okay. I believe that there's other portions that involve other people, but as, as best I'm aware, um, well, actually, actually, no. May we approach? Because I, I think.
ladies and gentlemen, they're going to work out an issue with one of the um, video, uh, the audio recordings. So we'll go ahead and take our 15 minute recess for the afternoon. Okay. Do not discuss the case and do not do any outside research. Okay. Okay, sure. 